Hey guys, so I'm gonna be doing a pick a card reading today. You actually have seven to choose from. With all of these, I'm gonna be using my Halloween tarot deck to clarify in honor of Halloween today because I am recording on Halloween. Anyway, so the first card is actually coming from my um, Ethereal Visions deck. I always wanna call it Golden Ethereal, but Ethereal Visions. Second card will be the Ghost deck. The third card comes from the Tattoo Tarot. Fourth card will come from the Original Tarot. Fifth card will come from Supernatural. Um, sixth card, I actually don't know this deck. It was gifted to me without a box, so um, I'm just calling it the white deck for now. <laughs> um, and uh, the seventh deck is a fairy deck. So... If you're attracted to one of those, pick a card. Of course, you can always um, go through a few readings. There will be timestamps in the description, but we will start with card number one. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I, I was considering the cards you were picking, like the main issue, right? So we got the five of cups. So how I did this was these cards were okay what uh what is upsetting you what is your focus on right now and with two cups standing behind you it's like what are you ignoring what are the opportunities that you're not facing so with what is in front of you that you're putting your um focus on right now that's really upsetting you we have the five of them which is like wands in this deck the will of fortune and the seven of them so it could be dealing with a sagittarius or pisces that could be you could be in their chart doesn't have to be but uh just to go through signs real quick before i get too into this we actually have libra gemini virgo sagittarius pisces leo um libra again aquarius capricorn scorpio so we have a lot of the signs in this that you could be or they could be um but you don't necessarily have to be just throwing out signs in the cards anyway getting back to this it just seems like there's a lot of fighting and that's where the focus is it's like no matter what you do it just ends up in a fight is really where you are it's just everything ends up in a fight is how you're feeling right now and it's very upsetting to you in this situation and what you're ignoring i think there's room to compromise here. There's actually, if communication happened, there may actually be possibility for like, okay, like how can we both get what we want, right? Because in the advice, it, it is kind of like, you've been really trying to decide what you want, but it's more wrapped up in your own thought process right now. And with the sun, I kind of took that as an illumination of the situation here, like how you want to move forward because there are things you're not seeing, like with this um, diplomacy, especially with this justice card right here. Again, it's kind of like the balancing of the scales that the queen of bats can kind of try to do here, right? And it's like, we can help, but how do we help each other? How? And with this two of imps being there, it's like, I think this situation can be improved but there needs to be like a compromise type of thing like you need to talk to each other hear each other out and um you know you you can't make it all about you and you can't make it all about them like you both have to be happy in this situation uh, and i think this needs to be discussed where are we going how do we get there um how can we improve this situation where do we go from here whatever this is um, I am taking it kind of relationship related, but you know, relationships can be just, you could be upset about work. Like you're always fighting at work and maybe there's people who are more willing to work with you. Maybe they don't like fighting, right? Uh, this could be family, this could be friends, but really it's just the situation. And like with the three cups there, it could be more of a friendly nature. Um, that could just be indicating um, celebration because this is the advice portion of it. And with judgment, or I'm sorry, this is the outcome. I drew for an outcome, a possible outcome. We got judgment, world, and the full three of ghosts. So I think there, I was kind of going off of like with this advice, like um, coming to um, 
some sort of like where do we go what's good for both of us type of thing i think in the end like it's gonna end up like a new start now is it a new start with this person with this company with this group of friends whatever after is it kind of refreshing and getting out of this hurt mode or is it going your separate ways and just being like you know this really isn't working and coming together with someone else that's a better fit that's a better situation could be either way but it just seems like you two are going to end up happier if you just have this conversation like can you two really work together or can you not or if it's a group can the group really work together or can you not figuring out if it's a fit instead of ignoring the problem and i like i said i think there is an openness to discussion and i am leaning more towards like you two could possibly work together there's just right now it's like okay the fighting isn't too much to break you right now um and it's like I think you're both fighting to be heard, honestly. But um, it, it does kind of... I am, keep going back to two, but, you know, it can be more than... Uh, it can be a group. But it's just like, okay, how can you hear each other? How can you come together? How can you guys work together? You kind of got to get out of the just you focus and realize that they're also fighting in this. They're also upset about this. So someone has to start the conversation. Uh, and I'm not trying to belittle your pain at all, because obviously you are, but just think that they also are. And it's just like someone needs to start this compromise, this conversation, this like, hey, how can we work together? Someone needs to. And I'm talking to you, so. Of course, I'm going to be like, hey, start it. <laughs> so hopefully this helped. We're going to go ahead and get to the uh, card two. So thank you guys for watching. And that is the end of your part. Okay, so the, we got the hangman, right? And in this hangman in the ghost deck, um, oh, this is people who picked card two. I, I did no introduction anyway. So I feel like there's two people here, right? And this person, it feels like they're trying their best to make the other person see their point of view and maybe even understand the other person's point of view. And it's literally right in the other person's face and they're just ignoring it. And um, so I drew for, okay, so tell me about the person who's being ignored basically. Um, they're overwhelmed right now overburdened in this relationship having to put in a lot of stuff and it's like you ask me to do one more thing i swear i'm gonna explode and it's like i'm not having a good time like i'm not celebrating this isn't it just feels like we're not united right now and the other person i swear to god when i saw this it's like okay bitch i'm adorable like that's what it feels like no no we're having a great time i'm adorable everyone like everyone loves me like the attention's always on me why would i be the problem and um advice wise i instantly went to the person who's ignoring the other one we got the page of pumpkins the hierophant and the ace of imps so with that it's just like look man you may be a blast you may be a lot of passion you may have a lot of passion you may have great moments like that but you know fun is awesome but it just feels like you're not really putting in effort you're not really considering the other work the emotional labor that may go into things like this um what you're putting the other person to through because you just think no we're having a good time like that that seems to be your real focus here and you're not really as i'm talking about this i heard boundaries you may not be focused on boundaries you may not be respectful of boundaries you may not be appreciative of someone else's efforts because it does feel like the other person's really overloaded and you're like well of course they want to do that for me i i'm awesome um so when we get into the advice for the other side it's just like look i i see you as a very nurturing person yes but you can't keep putting on this face that you're actually enjoying something that you're not you know um because you keep feeling defeated like someone's stealing from you and like this isn't what you signed up for this isn't what you agreed to like you guys aren't on the same page but at the same time it, 
it does kind of feel like with this card that you're putting on a face that you're happy when you're not. Like, it, it feels like you need to stand up for yourself a little stronger. And even with the outcome, it felt like there was a little bit of advice in it. We have the Knight of Ghosts, the World, and the Star. Now, I don't know if this is both of you or if this is more geared. Because I almost didn't even do advice for the person that thinks they're adorable. Because I'm like, would they be watching tarot? Would they think there's a problem? I, I don't know. But um, it, So this may be more geared for them. But this, uh, when I saw the world, I thought cycles. Okay, yes, it's exciting to go through the same... Uh, I'm sorry. It's exciting when someone just comes up that's really passionate, really fun... Um, and then you're just hopeful that this is going to work out, but where's your hope getting you? Right. And it, it seems like you're dealing with the same type of people. And maybe if the person that thinks they're adorable is watching this by chance, maybe you keep hearing things and you're denying it and things keep not working out, but you're like, but we had so much fun. I don't understand why it's not working out. We had so much passion. We, there was so much romance, lust. Like, I don't understand. You may listen, you may go back and listen to some of their complaints. Because I feel like it's all there. You just, it's like you ignored it and be like, no, no, no. Like, I'm adorable. This was so much fun. Like, it, that can't be right. So, signs that can be in this. Um, but, it, we're not limited to these signs, right? But can be. Uh, Earth signs in general, fire signs in general. We have Pisces, uh, Capricorn, and Taurus. Um, Capricorn again, Aquarius twice here, and Scorpio. Um, yeah. Okay, so hopefully this helped. Um, seems like a irritating situation for one person and kind of an ignorance is bliss situation for the other person. But we're going to go ahead and get into card three. So the strength card is the main situation here. And it's funny because the Ada Ghost was the first card that came out after that. And I was kind of thinking of um, in this deck, it's kind of like, did she tame the beast or is she still working on taming the beast in the strength card? And with that Ada Ghost, it's like you're walking away from a situation with this page of imps. This situation was something that filled you with passion. It was so exciting. You were so enthused to be in it. Like, it was something that you wanted. And I'm not going to lie. I was like, okay, why'd you walk away then? And with the death card reversed, I don't think it was your choice. I think it was something you got kicked out of. Or, like, you were fired. Or you, um, you were fired. It was a heated moment. Like, breakup. Or some sort of fight happened. Something like that. Um, but it really wasn't your choice is really what I'm getting. And when I was like, I think part of this strength is, I think part of this was toxic because it seems like you're, um, going towards something that is more stable here with the emperor card, but it also feels boring. And I kind of read into that a little bit and, um, you may miss the past. It may have been the 10 of imps, the 10 of, uh, <laughs> Um, the Ten of Wands and other decks. It may have been really burdensome, but there's also, like, it's chaotic, but you thrived on that chaos, right? Like, it, it's like, it was too much, but you loved feeling needed at the same time. Like, there's so much of that going on in this reading. Like, it's almost like you're trying so hard to go good and not be in the toxic exciting type of relationships anymore or environments anymore the ones that are just draining you and taking too much for you but there is a little bit of that going on like you were needed so it, it is kind of there's something thrilling that you're missing go moving forward um and trying to have a more stable life basically so signs I see in this, uh, fire signs in general, we have Leo and Aries specifically, and we have Scorpio. Could be that, could have been dealing with that. Um, anyway, I, I'm going to draw for advice. Okay, so I got advice and the outcome. So with the advice, and you may know this already, but we got the Magician reversed. We have the Ten of Ghosts, which is like the Ten of Cups. Uh, King of Ghosts, so Cups and ace of imps so there is 
a need to reevaluate what you really want. What is your emotional fulfillment? Because like I said, things like this, the things that made you excited that um, just really fulfilled you, like you thriving on the chaos were chaotic and they were too much for you to bear. They were burdensome, but it was nice to feel needed at the end of the day. So it's like you were exhausting yourself just to feel something, just to feel good. So there is a need to reevaluate at the end of the day what makes you happy because you're getting a sense of fulfillment from a place that doesn't have any peace. Like it's poisoning you a little bit, right? But it has passion. And I, I think there's a need to reevaluate how can you get these things without the poison, right? Um, and the outcome is I think you're doing that with the moon, justice, and four ghosts. And I think you're kind of just denying anyone access to you right now, rejecting any offers because you're just like, I really don't know how to get these things. I don't know how to get what I want right now. So I'm just going to take a little time to myself and think like, how do I get the excitement and stability? Because <laughs> it kind of feels like with the stability, you don't get the excitement, but with the excitement, you don't get the stability. So you're just trying to figure out like, how can you get both? How can you get a mixture of both worlds? And I don't, really want to leave it there. So I may, let, let's draw advice and be like, what can we say? Is there anything we can give advice wise for this? Cause it does seem like this is where you're going here. Oh, and signs before I get into that, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, fire signs in general, again, popped up. There are a lot of fire energy in this. Uh, Pisces and Libra are in here. So let's do one more round of advice. So attention does need to be brought to uh, what decisions you have made in relationships, what you have allowed, who you've allowed in, boundaries, all that type of thing, like what needs to be adjusted, all that. And I think you're looking at that. Also, what cycles do you not need to repeat? All these type of things, things that you're looking at, but also with the six of go, uh, bats, six of bats, this suggests moving forward having some type of guide someone to help you move forward and i'm not necessarily saying like um have like an experienced person that can tell you what to do in a relationship because that can lead to some sort of manipulation but maybe like a counselor of sorts like how or talk to experienced people like um how did you get the best of both worlds um if you know people like go out and find people i guess if you know anyone who has the best of both worlds like the stability the um and and the excitement you know or therapy may be needed and i don't say that like in a bad way i think therapists can help you know um that's what they're there for so it just kind of has a seeking guidance type of thing because this is unfamiliar waters to you so it would be helpful to have a guide okay so hopefully this helped and hopefully you guys have a good day i'm gonna go ahead and get on to the next card this one's not going to be <laughs> the best story and i'm sorry but those of you who chose the original tarot we have the seven of swords so we have the page of amps looking at the queen of amps so i just see that as your and, and then it goes to the two of bats and the um ten of ghost so i just see you really struggling on okay what can i say how can i approach them like what do i need to say to get in their good grace to get into this like happy relationship with this person how do i get them what do i need to do to get them I'll, you're very enthusiastic about this you want this person and they're just not having it they don't see your stuff they're just ignoring your stuff that's how you feel at the very least and you could be dealing with an aries because that's what that is to me there's fire signs on here um other signs i see is uh, Scorpio, Pisces, there's Capricorn. I did do a, how they view you since they're ignoring you. We have the Hangman, the Five of Ghosts, 
and the devil. A few ways, I, I actually see this in a few ways, but honestly, none of them are really in a good way. You're very enthusiastic about the relationship. They don't really see it that way. Um, you may be someone who's very hurt out of a new relationship and out of a recent breakup or something. They may see that and they just may be like, this really isn't the best time to get with them because they're just, you know, they're, they're not really meaning what they say. That's kind of what, how they see you, especially with that page events. The page events can be seen as very youthful, very inexperienced, very, for lack of better term, immature. You just got to say it like I see it. Um, and also it, it, this could also be like they maybe this is an ex that you hurt or in some way that or they were hurt by something you did you know they have some pain and they're just like nah getting with you right now just isn't the best time this could also that there could also be a flip of this and just be like maybe they're fresh out of a relationship that's still hurting them and they just don't really see it to be a good idea to attach themselves to like a knight in shining armor trying to rescue them and i say that coming into the advice because honestly it just kind of feels like accept your defeat with the five of bats or the five of swords because like speaking of the knight of shining armor there's the knight of ghosts going into the four of ghosts the offer's been um, rejected and I think it's just something you have to accept I don't think this is a pursuit that you need to keep pursuing because it has been rejected like you're really fighting a losing battle here um, and I really hate breaking the news but this is just this is what I'm seeing here there's unless somehow this changes but this is their perception right so it's you're fighting a losing battle here like i know you want them but yeah i'm sorry um we're gonna go ahead and go on to the next set of cards i hope that helps you i know that's probably not what you want to hear but it's what i saw so anyway thank you guys for being here though Okay, so for those who chose the Supernatural deck or card five, we have the King of Blades. And then going into the Six of Bats and the Death card. So looking at that Death card's face, I think there's a lot of resistance to this change. And it just feels like whatever this change is, it's like you were set in your ways. You would hear other people out. You would hear their opinions. You would hear what they wanted and you were open-minded enough to listen but it's like you were set in your ways you don't want to change like um so it, it's kind of like you're changing by going through the motions but you're resistant to actually you're resistant to actually changing internally now i'm putting this on you because i think this is your energy but this could be dealing you could be dealing with someone like this but for this reading, I am going to assume this is you. So uh, while I have that stopped, I'm going to go ahead, or why, while I stopped for that explanation, I'm going to go ahead and say Gemini, Scorpio, and Cancer seem to be in this right now. And I think what this change seems to be around is just really a lack of communication, like a lot of secrets, potentially with the high priestess, um, secret keeping um if it's i don't know if it's it, it does seem like secrets that lead to fight maybe some sort of heartbreak arguments and it's like why didn't you tell me why aren't you communicating good enough why aren't you expressing your hurt feelings maybe something like that instead of just fighting and they're asking you to change and you may be really uncomfortable with this change or the person you're dealing with may be very uncomfortable with this change actually having to be vulnerable potentially there's something about being more expressive of the things that are being kept hidden now with the high priestess and the three of bats 
I'm gonna put this one out there, but if they're being asked to change, if this, if you're the person who's asking to change, like this has already been expressed, so don't freak out. Um, but it just feels like cheating or like something behind the back of that sort. It does kind of seem like that may be possible with a combination of the Seven of Ems, Three of Bats, and the High Priestess right there. Uh, I'm not saying it has to be, but it it may just be like not communicating hurt feelings and leading to and fighting instead, um, just keeping things secret that really shouldn't be and trying to be more open and vulnerable, which somebody really doesn't like. They don't like doing that. It's like, I'll listen to you, but I don't want to express my stuff. This is painful for me. Like, I don't like this. Um, there's really that resistance here. So I'm going to... I guess I'll get advice for the person who doesn't want to change, but I feel like someone, there may be the other side. So I guess I'll be open and get advice for both. Now, advice for the person who's being asked to change. We have the Page of Pumpkins. We have the Eight of Ghosts. And we have the Two of Them. So I just kind of feel like, I know your resistance to the change, but is this resistance enough to walk away from? There's also this like, that that needs to be decided before you work too much into it. Also, it's important to note that whatever this is, this is a new beginning for you. So it shouldn't be, there shouldn't be that much pressure on you to just like, if this is just like a, um, be more vulnerable type of thing like express what's bothering you recognize that you are a novice like that's kind of how this feels like you're this is something you're uncomfortable with you you are this is unfamiliar territory so don't expect yourself don't put that pressure on yourself um to just like bleed your guts you know Put out all your emotions. How am I trying to say this? Just to put it all out there day one. Like, be completely exposed. Maybe just, you know, baby step it. You know? Crawl before you walk. Walk before you, you run. Don't go right out the gate sprinting, basically. And, you know, I'm sure the other person is listening to this as well. And I think your advice with the nine of pumpkins, three of pumpkins... And the Queen of Ghosts, it just kind of feels like appreciate the insight that you get. There is, there's either a need to not depend on them to be vulnerable, to be happy, or there's this whole like, you may need to be, um, provide a more comforting space. You may be more of a, like, all about you type of person and you got to realize this is a team not quite sure if it's like there's something like you're very you focused like you may think there's something wrong with you if they're not expressing themselves to you so you may be putting pressure on them that way or when they're expressing themselves you may put you may bring that to you somehow there, there's something about the attention being more on you and you got to realize this is about both of you and trying to provide a more comfortable space to express yourself. There's something about, I, I feel like in the past when um, someone's tried to express themselves, this hasn't really went the best way. And part of it may be more of that focus on just you instead of being focused on the team in collaboration with how this is Kind of playing out and not really having the most comfortable space to be open with um so this may be a learning process for both of you right um cancer showed up in this uh anyone else earth signs in general so anyway we're gonna go ahead and go into the next card thank you guys hopefully this helped Okay, so for those of you who chose card six, or what I'm calling the white deck, it's like a dragon deck. I just, I don't know what it's actually called. Um, 
got the three of pentacles so you can see him pinning on the symbols on this door and i just kind of saw it like what's behind the door i was a little curious and it's funny because the cards that popped out as a little clarifies for it is the ace of bats which is like the ace of swords and the empress reverse so really what i see that as is needing clarification of okay what are we creating what are we doing here like what's going on and so i'm like what's behind the door so we have nine of imps reverse we have temperance and we have five of ghosts so i see someone who's still probably really upset and has that outlook because probably a past situation you know that's how it usually goes um and so they're just not really looking to charge into something right now they want to make a solid grounded decision before making that move. Um, so it's, I don't think that the perspective is that they're leading you on or anything. I think it's just, they need time to gather data to actually make the decision type of thing more than anything else. And maybe a little time to recover from this, right? So, I think with the advice being like eight of bats, the star and king of bats, I think this situation just needs to be made clear, right? You don't need to just hear this in a reading. Like the communication needs to be made clear and there needs to be an understanding. If this is something they said, then you need to take them for their word. If they've literally said this, I just need time to make up my mind because it's literally right here. But, uh, they're not leading you on. That's literally, they literally just need some time to actually, uh, they want to make a grounded decision. Don't pressure them. Uh, listen, communicate, and also make your own judgment. If this is something that you don't see hope in, then that's a call you can make. If they refuse to make, to have a conversation with you, to tell you what's going on, to bring you that clarity so you understand the situation, so you understand what you're getting yourself into don't try to force anything out of it because no answer is an answer you know what i mean a refusal to answer is an answer but it doesn't really i don't really get the vibe that they're leading you on i just get the vibe that they need time to make a decision here um of course i take this as a romantic context but with the three of pentacles being the center of it this could be like someone telling you you may get promoted and um them just being like okay we need time to actually figure out who the best fit is um you know take it as it resonates uh we do have air signs taurus libra uh, leo sagittarius gemini aquarius on the board here you don't have to be one of those. You don't have to be dealing with one of those, um, but that's just what I see here. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the last card, the seventh card of the fairy deck. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this helps. Okay, so for the people that chose the fairy deck or the seventh card, we have the eight of cups. So I really, I don't know how well you can see this, but like, it felt like a return to something you left with how this movement was going for me. So I kind of just, I wanted to draw for like the path first. So we have the four of pumpkins, seven of swords, or seven of bats in this one, and the 10 of pumpkins. So it kind of felt like that ultimate success was a little bit out of your reach. So to gain what, it, it's kind of like you needed to protect yourself to protect what you had control of so you kind of left because like it kind of got too intimidated to swing and miss and just not really have it in your grasp and you kind of you you needed to feel it to be able to control it to really not fear losing it or so it's kind of like you left before they could you know what i mean so there's a little bit of regret here because like looking back on it I feel like you're sitting in this situation and thinking about it now uh, and kind of readdressing it and with the strength reversed and the empress reversed and the nine of imps, it kind of feels like 
honestly, you're a little bit of an impatient person and you may have let the fear get the best of you, so you ran. You ran because you didn't know what direction this was growing in, you didn't know how this was growing, you weren't even sure if it was growing, so instead of talking about it, you kind of just, it, it seems like you may have let your fear get the best of you, or that may be at least the conclusion you're coming to. Leo energy here, Taurus, Libra, um, water energy in general, Capricorn, and Aquarius as well. Uh, you could be that, could be dealing with that. So the next step in this is I think you're not quite sure how to approach this situation again, but with the Ace of uh, Ghosts in this deck or an Ace of Cups, you're kind of wanting to make an offer again. You're kind of wanting to step back into the situation. You may be wanting to admit to some of these wrongs here. Um, you may want to reconcile in this situation. And with, I drew for advice with this and we have the world and the two of uh, pumpkins reversed. And it's just like, are you going to break the cycle or are you going to repeat the cycle? That's very important in this. Are you going to experience the same thing? Are you going to let the fear get the best of you? Are you going to um, fight for power uh, because you feel like you're losing control so you're leaving it? Are you going to let the fear get the best of you or are you going to make something different of this situation if this comes uh, back into fruition or is this... Or are you thinking of a how to approach like situations similar to this? This is probably love with the Ace of Ghosts and um, stuff like that, but it could be could be something else. Uh, I mean, we do have a lot of Pinnacle energy here or uh, Pumpkin energy in this deck, so it could be job related. But it's just like how how are you going to approach the situation differently? Um, you may have been like staying away from relationships in general here for a little bit and now you're thinking about how to approach them again it may not be this person specifically that you walked away from um it may just be approaching another relationship but it, there is this whole with the advice i'm gonna stick with that are you going to repeat the cycle or break the cycle because it does seem like you're aware of it but just because you're aware of it doesn't mean you won't repeat it now being aware is half the battle so you know you i'm not saying you won't do it i'm just saying like you got to keep going you got to reverse the strength and you got to have the strength like you can do it i i don't want to tell you you can't do it it's just something to be aware of you need to be aware in those moments you know okay so I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped and have a great night.